Girls, who are they? Where do they come from? Their role in society and how they ended up where they are today. Well, let's take a look at Cyril Ramaphosa's profile. Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa was born in Soweto, Johannesburg. He matriculated at Mapupudi High School in Sibasa Venda. He studied law at the University of the North and upon completion received BPROC degree from UNISA. As a student, he joined SASCO, the South African Student Organization, and the BPC, Black People's Convention. He was detained for his involvement in organizing pro freely Morales. He was held in solitary confinement for 11 months. He was detained again, held for six months. During this time, he began to question his role in the BPC, deciding that ideology of black consciousness had become full circle. It could take us no further. He joined the firm of attorneys as an article clerk. Ramaphosa completed a BPROC at UNISA and joined the Council of Unions of South Africa as a legal advisor. And it was in this position until 1991 where CUSA advised him to establish the Union of Mine Workers. He was arrested and briefly detained under the now defunct Righteous Assemblies Act in Libua. He left CUSA helping to form the Congress of the South African Trade Unions, COSATU. Between 1985 and 1986, he helped organize two major countrywide NUM strikes. He received the Olaf Palm Prize in October 1987 in Stockholm in an annual prize awarded for an outstanding achievement in the spirit of Olaf Palm. He resigned from NUM as Secretary General. That same year, he was elected Secretary General of the ANC. When COSAT joined forces with the United Democratic Front against the PW border regime, when Nelson Mandela was released from prison, Ramaphosa was on the National Reception Committee. Winning. Moving around the car. He became Secretary General of the ANC from 1991 to 1994. In his capacity as a General Secretary, he became the head of the negotiations commissions of the ANC and participated in the Conference for Democratic South Africa, CODESA. And also ensuring that you end up with a democratic result. On May 24, Ramaphosa was elected chairperson of the Constitutional Assembly, member of parliament between 1994 and 1996. After Thabo was chosen as president to succeed Mandela, Ramaphosa decided to leave politics and enter the business world. Comrade Ramaphosa will resign his position as a member of parliament once the constitution writing process is completed. His position as member of the National Executive Committee and Secretary General of the ANC remains unchanged. On behalf of the entire National Executive Committee of the ANC, I wish to take this opportunity to commend my comrade and colleague, Cyril Ramaphosa, for the important contribution he has made in building our organization the ANC, in the nation-building effort and in the broader task of reconstruction and development. I am confident that all the strengths will continue to draw from his immense leadership qualities. Well, as the President has said, my position in the National Executive Committee and as Secretary General remains unchanged. No doubt these matters are going to be discussed further and we will have to work out exactly uh, what type of involvement I continue to have in the organization itself as an official of the organization and also what role and time I also give uh, in the private sector. So that will still be discussed uh, in further detail later. Ramaphosa was a special envoy to observe the conflict between Palestinians and Israel following Israel's armed occupation of cities controlled by the Palestinian National Authority. He was appointed chairperson of the Jonic Holdings Limited. He became a member of the National Executive Committee, a position he held until today. He was an advisor for the government National Planning Commission. 
Ramaphosa's name was prominent on the second day of the Marikana Judicial Commission. In an email in which Ramaphosa strongly condemned the protests, described them as criminal acts and suggested concomitant action. Cyril Ramaphosa was accused of having had an influence on the events which led to the Marikana shootings on 16th August 2012. Ramaphosa agreed to testify after calls were made for him either to apologize or to account for his part in the shooting. He was elected to the post of ANC Deputy President at the ANC's 53rd National Conference, appointed Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa in 2015. Ramaphosa served as Sarex facilitator on Lesotho. By 20th October 2014, Ramaphosa had traveled to the Mountain Kingdom four times in an effort to secure a political solution to Lesotho's problem. Lehana Tsotetsi, SABC News, Johannesburg.